RT4. We know what is the RT3. Now, what is the RT4? RT4 defined on the UG116, and it says none of above applicable or part of the complete vessel has satisfied the radiography requirements. So, either it's a non -radio uh, uh, no radiography, you know, we don't do a radiography at all, and then, or we make a radiography, but it's not the uh, uh, RT1, it's not the full radiography, like the defining the RT1, or it's not RT2, and also it's not the RT3, it's a something else, or is a, is a combination of them, then we name it RT4. And an example for RT4 that I put in the screen, you can see, is a half bottom is a full RT, and top of the half is a spot RT, so the vessel is categorized as an RT4. You know, it's, it's happened on the process towers. Or columns and, and very tall covers. Normally, in the design of the pressure vessel, the lower courses is going to have a, a higher wall thickness, and it goes to up. The wall thickness is going to be lower because of the static head and also the weight of the vessel. Normally, the lower cases is going to be higher wall thickness. So, portion of the vessel falls in the full RT because of the UCS 57 table. You know, said for this material carbon steel, if it is more than one and quarter inch, it's going to go to the full radiography. And when it's go to the top courses, it goes, you know, gradually the wall thickness is going to be reduced until it's a somehow, in some courses, it doesn't require to be full radiography. And the uh, manufacturer doesn't want to spend on the radiography for top courses. They can go with the spot radiography. So half of the pressure vessel, lower portion, is going to be full radiography and top portion is going to be spot radiography. So combination of the spot and full is going to be RT4. As you can see in the screen, as a half of the vessel is going to be joint efficiency 1 and half of the vessel the joint efficiency is going to be 0.85. And you can see the places that are going to go to the full radiography, I highlighted them. You can see the wall thickness in this pressure vessel is how much? You can see the half bottom is a full RT, is, is a 1.5 inch, 1.75 inch and 2 inch. So, uh, bottom head and the first course is 2 inch and the middle course from bottom section is 1.75 inch as you can see in the screen. And 1.5 inch is the course that for full radiography and you can see all of these three are more than one and quarter inch. So, goes to the full radiography. And look at the nozzle. Nozzle is 16 inch, so it's more than 10 inch, and wall thickness is 1.5, so it's not exempted. We said it's going to be exempted if our, uh, our uh, uh, nozzle is less than 10 inch, but here is a more than 10 inch, it's a 16 inch, and the wall thickness is not more than a 1 and 8 inch. Here is more than that, it's a one and a half inch, so it's not exempted. So you're having a long seam in here, it's going to subject it to the radiography, and also this joint also is going to be subjected to the radiography and is not exempted. And then when it goes to the top, you can see the wall thickness goes to the 125 inch and then one inch, which based off the table UCS 57. We said more than one and quarter inch or more than 1.25 inch. So 1.25 inch itself and one inch doesn't require full radiography. So in these cases, you know, as we go to the RT4, when it's not categorized as an RT1, RT2, and RT3, we name it RT4 and it's explained in the drawing and everything and it's indicated that you know, the portion of the vessel is gone to the full radiography and portion is gone to the spot radiography. Okay, now we are moving forward.